need to approve the minutes from the last meeting. Motion. motion by Randall. Second by Greg. Motion by Randall. Yep. Yep. Second by Greg. All four. Yep. yep. All yep. four. Yep. Uh, number item number three to approve the following budget amendments: Solid Waste Fund Number One Sixteen Amendment Number Two, Debt Service Fund Number One Fifty One Amendment Number One, and Capital Project Fund Number One Seventy Eight. Got a motion. Got a motion. Frank, has everybody had a chance to look through them right quick? Looks like it's just swapping even money. Is that right? Got a motion by Frank. Got a second by Billy. Is there any discussion? Any questions? Anything that we need to look at, Bob? Um, we have uh, the solid waste fund is just moving, moving money. Okay. Um, the debt service is where we're not doing the BRZ project, so we're going to pay on some debt right. to save interest. And then the last one is the capital projects fund that we will be establishing in order to purchase the ambulances from the grant and the loan from USDA. Do a roll call. Frank, four. Yep. Billy. Yes. Greg. Mm -hmm. Randall. Yes. And I'm four too. All four. Approved purchase orders. For approved purchase order suspension as of April 30, 2020, for all non-emergency items. Motion. Uh, what is it? What is that about? That way to do that every year. Yeah. yeah. Cut that way. Cut the purchase order. Yeah, the purchase order. Oh, that's the read that right. I said finish. Got a motion by Randall. Got a second by Billy. All four? Yes. Yeah. All four. I've read too much today. My eyes right here. Uh, is there any older new business to discuss? Frank's on the old business. Connie, we don't have anything. Uh, all right. Next meeting schedule looks like uh, March 30. Uh, at 5. April 7th, 5. 14th. Five and April 28th at 5. If there's no other business before the budget committee, we'll adjourn and move to our budget review. I mean, most bidding. Uh, second by Frank. All four? Yep. yep. All four. All right, we'll move into our budget review. All right. John, looks like you're the first one on the, the list here on that. On the, uh, yeah. Uh, we'll let's turn it over to you, my friend. I'm in a meeting. If you guys want to go to the uh, last pages. Public uh, safety. Uh, start with public safety. Uh huh. Okay. You guys, there's really not a lot of changes in hours. Uh, there's a. There was one line. I think Connie's got everything highlighted over in the second column mm -hmm. about whatever change it would be. The first one she's got highlighted. Uh, that the line item for overtime, uh, the 187, uh, the claim 187 would be going down, or the request would be going down 10,000 uh, due to the fact we had to do an amendment when we moved all the detectives to salary, and that comp time had to be paid out, so we had to do an amendment get that money in there and cover that versus our regular uh, overtime pay. Everybody, everybody understand that one? That's uh, 189 or? One, just the plain 187. Okay. So, so the request from where we were at this year will be actually going down 10,000 uh, on the uh, uh, data processing. We had requested uh, thousand dollars be added to that line item uh, just due to the fact that uh, things are are going up we're, we're having a, a few other things done so you know in order to get through uh, through the year we felt like a, another thousand would probably help us out in that line item on the line item 338 uh, which was vehicle maintenance we actually went over uh, what we had estimated we would need for this year, uh, which is odd and unusual, but we did. So we actually requested uh, $3,000 more in that line. And then uh, 
on our other contract and services. And Connie, you may have to help me here, but we had requested an additional $2,000 in that line. And why did we do that? We talked about it, but I had forgot. Um, there was something, there, there was a particular reason and I forgot what it was. I didn't have a note on it. Um, I can't remember we, we requested an additional 2000 in our guys and, and for the life of me right now, I cannot remember why we did it. Uh, but I, I know that we had discussed it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, line item the 431, we had requested an additional 2000 there. Uh, cost supplies still going up. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, our other supplies, we had requested uh, an additional 1000 And it, motor vehicle equipment, we actually, put some money in so there would be a decrease of about uh, for the request for about 12,000 in that line item and then office equipment we've got uh, we've got some monitors and stuff that we're going to have to replace so uh, we had requested another thousand in it that we normally haven't had any issues with and then the other equipment uh, we went back with our original request for the 1920 budget, uh, but we had sold some stuff, uh, or Tim had, you know, that whenever the money came in, it came into that line item. So it actually looks like there's a, a request of 20,000, almost 21,000 less, but really it hadn't changed. Uh, Before we move, John, how many new cars you got? How many new ones do you have? You got, yeah, because you know, your maintenance ought to be pretty level for a couple of years if you got pretty well. It, it, it should be. However, uh, we, uh, we've we had to keep some of our Crown Vicks. Mm -hmm. And once, if, if this budget passes uh, in the year uh, for 20 and 21, our intent will be with this 160,000 year to get four more. And that will get rid of uh, all the old Crown Vicks and everybody should have something newer, including the transport vehicles then, with exception uh, of SUVs is what you're buying now, right? Right. Yeah, right. And that is the question. Yeah. Uh, now, we have had to, uh, we've had to purchase some Durango's. We did. We well, had, I was just going to ask you how those Dodges are holding up versus the Fords. Well, they're holding up really good so far. The gas mileage differential is amazing. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. We're averaging about four and a half to five mile per gallon more with the Dodges than what we were with the Fords. Oh, and, 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 how long they and both of them are V6s. Uh, but we had to go with the Dodges, either that or we would be waiting. We, probably wouldn't even have had our vehicles that Tim ordered in July if we were waiting on the Fords. Now the Fords are good, but uh, uh, so far, I guess we'll see how the Dodgers are going to live up there. Well, I, I guess we will, but you know, sometimes you don't get what you want. No. You, you, you get what you what you got to have. Right, right. Get what you can get. Right. Uh, and one thing, and that's another thing, uh, the Dodgers are cheaper. So, actually, a couple thousand dollars cheaper. The the Ford SUVs went up. I'm gonna say last year they had went up. I think Tim told me about three thousand dollars per vehicle, more than what we had paid the year before. And the Dodge price really didn't change. Uh, but a lot of agencies are going going to the Durango. All right, then we. Any more questions on? on that? No. You answered it. And we've, and of course we we've had we've had some bad luck with uh, uh, a couple of vehicles like uh, uh, we've got a, an Explorer over there now that from back in the summer it was a fairly new vehicle uh, with a whole Casey Looper deal uh, down on Allen's Chapel and he back of course he worked the frame on it and they told me. So we're just using it for parts on the other explorers that we've got. And uh, did you get enough uh, from the insurance to buy a decent vehicle back to replace it? We, we didn't get enough, no. The, the mileage was, 
it, it was somewhere in that 30,000 mile range, mm -hmm. but between it and one that uh, one of the cars that had uh, uh, one of the guys that hit a deer with it had just obliterated the front end of it. So uh, between those two vehicles, we did, awesome. and then we had uh, had a guy back in to uh, one of our vehicles uh, in short pursuit, and then uh, he uh, he stopped. Officer trying to exit the vehicle, and he throwed in reverse and backed up into it. We were able to use some of the parts off of the, the, the one uh, Ford SUV that we got over there and fix it, and we got it back on the road. Right so, you know, I mean, it kind of looks bad having wrecked them sitting around, but they can they can save you some money. So, that's pretty much on that page, and then uh, we get back over on. Uh, line item 187 special patrols at the jail, which is overtime pay. Uh, we had requested uh, $7,000 increase, on the year. and that's just for the jail. Uh, and the reason we done that, we had to do a, a budget amendment to, to get that covered. It's 187 on the jail. Oh, okay. yeah. And other than that, I don't think that we had asked for anything. To do. We are going to get that increase. You think we're going to get that increase in jail fees for the state prison just from 35 to 40? Yes, I hope so. They talked up there. Uh, you know, they, they toyed around with the uh, with that $50 mark for a while, but it, I, I, don't, I definitely don't think it is. kind of looks the other way it went on. Yeah, yeah. But with all the scrutiny of the uh, uh, some of the private or you know private sectors of, of corrections oh, yeah. that, that it, it, it may it may come back around uh on the back on the other side the jail side office equipment we had requested uh, uh line item 719 we had requested uh, an additional 800 dollars in that line item uh and that's office equipment we're going to have to get a uh, a new printer for the booking area there pretty soon and then uh, 790 uh, other equipment uh, we had requested a, 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 an extra thousand dollars in that line item just due to the fact that we uh, uh, we're halfway through the year and we've almost already you know three quarters of the way through our budgeted line back but other than that uh, now I think that we're done, right, Connor? Yes. Any, any questions? What's the average number of state prisoners we house it up? Do you have any idea how many we house per year off top of your head, roughly? No, no, I don't. Okay. Uh, I really, I don't. And But it, here lately, even though, you know, every bed or every bunk is full and we got them on the floor, uh, our pods are full. They are. Or they, they were earlier unless something's got out. Of course, today was cold. Well, we don't have anything that's broke down or anything. No, no, no. We may, we may have a bunk or two that's not built here or there. Uh, but uh, uh, Amanda tries hard. If, if she sees that we got one you know, open, we'll try to get a, a state prisoner in there. But we're not, our state prisoners are not averaging as high as what we want to with. Really don't make a lot of sense to scatter our county inmates to other counties and okay. have to pay them. Either. I guess my question too is what I'm leaning up to is, you know, I know we can't probably do anything with the judge, but I think did he not realize that uh, if we don't try to keep some state prisoners up in the jail to help offset our some of our costs, you know, I know we've got a hundred plus county that's been put in jail for a lot period of time, right? It's and over 100. Most of them just misdemeanors. Right. Yeah, right. So uh, I guess what I'm saying is, is that we need to try to keep our, you know, our state prisoners as high as we can manually keep them and so we keep their costs. They may not, and I ain't said nothing to Darrell, but I didn't know how he felt about that. So, you know, we, because we need to offset our costs as much as we can with those. And all the help we can get. Right. Well, we, and, and that's totally understandable. And I, I agree. 
but we've also got a portion of the inmate population that you can watch in the communities in which they decide to land after they get out of jail, then thefts go up, call volume goes up, right. Right. more people are being victimized, and you know, even if they're locked up on the misdemeanor and we're not getting anything for them, at least that community yeah. got a little bit of peace of mind. So But you, you see where I'm down from mm -hmm. from it. Oh yeah. Overall. Hey, hey, it would be wonderful if uh if, if ever if ever bed that we had was a state bed, you know, that would be great. Right. But unfortunately we just have to do the best of what we what we got to work with. Any any questions on any of this other stuff, I guess. Yeah. You got, got anything else? I know. Yeah. Babs, I hate to admit it, I thought you were doing a pretty good job. Right. That makes me feel real good coming from something now. Like <laughs> <laughs> you take a look at it. Ain't nothing that you bring a bodyguard up here today. Now, we have, uh, we have a, a new jail director, right? Yes, yeah. and, yes, uh, Miss Amanda Ford, and she's, uh, she's still getting her sea legs under, but Oh, she's hit the ground running, I believe. Now, now she has been absent a little bit here lately with her mother. Her mother's had some heart issues. Uh, but, uh, but either way, if, uh, if she is hospital, she's, she's in the office. Uh, and we have just hired a maintenance man. So, so that's a big hard. That man, uh, Joe Pig. Joe? Joe Pig. How did you ever get him? He, he's taking care of that himself. Uh, I, I I think that there was uh, was that thing recording? Jackson. Yeah. Jackson. Uh, yeah. Uh, either way, I, I think there was a relationship that was suffering from that, and I think that was enough to prompt that man to find his way uh, to to other ways. And he was, and that was it. Didn't worry me because the very first thing he told me, he said, "Look," he said, "I." I'm gonna talk to you about this job. He said, here's the first thing you're gonna hear about me. And he said, it's the truth, or it was. He said, I've, I've got my, my thing straight now. And so that, that made me feel pretty good, you know, if a man's up front and honest. And what position say Joe? Maintenance. Maintenance, okay. Just, um, he used to work for Tech, didn't he? He worked for Tech, yeah. uh, worked 28 years for Kroger. Yeah. Uh, over whatever region with their maintenance. How old is he? Uh, he's 59. <coughs> no, maybe. All them years. Yeah, Joe's probably 59. Is he 60? I was thinking he was upper 50s. I don't remember right off the bat. He's old. He's got to be older than that. But he's, he's got a lot of experience with HVAC stuff. Uh, and just talking with him. Uh, one other thing, and I'll, I'll be done with that. Is there anything that that you have, anything that w that you can predict that may need to be worked on this coming year? Is there, are we in good shape mechanically at the jail? Do you foresee anything we're going to have to plan for? I, I don't. At this time, I don't. Okay. But now, remember, we've still got a couple of units that are on the north side of the building that we've not had not had any problems out of, but they are very aged. So we tried to we have tried to you know, replace them as we can, and then of course we've done the big thing here a while back. That might be the biggest. Now uh, we're going to have to replumb some of our uh, uh, tankless water heaters, and reason being. There's seals and stuff that have kind of gone out, but the heater itself is still good. Um, right. yeah. now, I, I think we wore them out. You guys got anything else? No. Don, we appreciate your time. Well, guys, you ain't going to wear me out talking. There's two things I'm good at, and that's eating and talking, and they both show. <laughs> <laughs> Just ain't got nothing to eat, have we? We have nothing to eat. At Right. He didn't get that out of his Uncle Frank. Next time. Right, Uncle Frank. <laughs>
that the weather don't get don't get too bad. Yeah, I hope it does. I, I'm gonna go home and watch Bree Smith and try to see if I can pay attention to what she has to say. <laughs> Who? Who? <laughs> weather lady on channel five. Oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> huh? Well he, he may watch, learn what he wants. Need, <laughs> need to watch Mary May on channel two of the morning what I thought. You know John what he can watch channel two of the morning. Yeah. All right guys. That's what I thought. We're ready to give <laughs> him for. All right, Jim, you just go ahead and jump in there. Oh, it doesn't matter. Do we need to talk about what we can? Yeah, we need to go in there. Where we move the medical to the paramedic. Oh, no. Okay. No, just, I ain't looking at it. This is what they're looking at. Okay, the 14 on the data processing, I've got some computers I probably need to replace. I think so. That's on uh, 17 data processing? Yeah, 317. Okay. And, uh, dues and membership. We just had some increases in dues, so we are just not running for We uh, Are we looking? That's from Amy. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. On which one is the general? On dues and membership, we've had a little bit of increase in, in dues with, with uh, some of the organizations we pay dues for. Down to licenses, uh, we've increased that just a little bit. Uh, maintenance of equipment up a little. We left vehicle maintenance the same. Matching share, we put in for a grant with AFG for six heart monitors. Uh, basically, the heart monitors we have now, we basically will have to take out of service next February. So we're going to have to replace them. So how long do they last? These are about eight years, nine years old that we've had, but they basically said they're not gonna maintain or update them or whatever anymore, so we're gonna have to take them off the truck and replace them. So that's what that 30,000 matching is for. Uh, travel, we upped a little bit just to help with some of the meetings and stuff that we've been going to. Uh, tuition is the same as last year. Other contracted services that pays for our billing software and our run reporting software. The other contracted services, the one that I don't know, the, it's three ninety nine. It's for the Medicaid. We get a a quarterly check that uh, gives us some additional revenue, but we have to pay a percent percentage of that so that we didn't put a physical note on that for the state so that we could get that. Custodial uh, supplies the same. Drugs and medical supplies, just general increase in cost. Uh, some of the medications that we've used have, have went up quite a bit. And just overall, uh, a little bit of that gas, I added 10000 just because we just don't know. Now it may be $2 and it might go to four. Yeah, it may go down to a little less. Uh, natural gas, I think we were a little close on natural gas, so I added a couple of thousand. Cars and tubes, I added just a little bit of increase to that. Uniforms, I added three thousand dollars to that. We've not bought any uniforms for our part-time people. Uh, we pay for uniforms for our full-time, so I'd like to give them a little bit of something this next year if possible. Um, we put fifty thousand dollars in for a motor vehicle, and that's for the extrication truck. We need to get a little bit bigger size than what we've got. Uh, and then the grant that just went through. She's going to put that in another spot, but we're looking at two more ambulances that we've got approved for. Uh, they don't be new, won't they? They won't be remounts, will they? No, uh, they'll, they'll be, be new boxes. Boxes. Yeah. We, we, we got delivery of a brand new truck here about a month or six weeks ago. They ride any better than old ones? Yeah. They've got the hydraulic ride on 
Those heart monitors that you're taking out, we can't recoup any money from them. What do they do with them? Well, trash them or what happens to them? They were giving us some trade in. Okay. On the price that we've got. Oh. Uh, other equipment, I up a little bit. On the other equipment, the AFG, the heart monitors, we put two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars in there for that. They're giving us some trade in on the heart monitors we have at that price right there. Okay. But that's that right there is six brand new heart monitors. The other equipment below is 125. If I do not get the AFG grant, I can buy refurbished monitors to replace the ones we have, but that'll cost us about 125. I'm trying to get new through the grant. That's where we got our last heart monitors was through that AFG grant. So that's where we ended up. And overall budget is down just a little bit from what it was last year because of things that we had done. Of course. You got any back paramedics still in there? I've got one that's one, I've got one in that's in there now, and I've got one that's going to uh, fix to apply for the class coming up this fall. Well, uh, right now we have five trucks that have double paramedics on it. Uh, we're we're in a lot better shape than some of the other counties as far as staffing. I don't have an open position right now. Yeah, we're we're full. Yeah. I've got people wanting to come to work, but I just don't have any stuff on. What will we do, like if the uh, Hey, that happens, but yeah, like if that virus went through everybody, is there any type of contingency yeah. plan that you had like with the local surrounding counties that you could uh, use that their personnel and switch out well, like we do, that? And we, we do that now, really. I have uh, probably three or four uh, personnel right now that work two counties. They work us for us a week, and then they go to another county and work a week. Uh, we were we had a director's meeting today, and they were talking about the coronavirus. If we get what they're looking at is the N95 mask, that's the mask we have to wear. If we get to a patient that is suspected or not, as long as the crew wears the mask and it seals like it's supposed to, then we're not supposed to be quarantined. But if they have a beard and the mask doesn't smith, then they're going on 14, uh, quarantine for 14 days is what they've told us. So. They, I get uh, updates constantly every day from the CDC plus the health department here in Cookville, the regional health office and stuff like that on, on what's going on. What kind of mask are them? It's an N95. It, we, we have they, they have so This a, one's got the cartridges? No, uh, this is just a, 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 a paper type uh, oh, paper. Hat, but it's a little thicker. The stuff that's called an N95 mask. We actually have a... But were they uh, sealed on? Is that what you're yeah. talking about? Will. For this, they will. Though, like I said, they're a little thicker. I don't have one with me. I can show you. Uh, we've got about 360 of the regular size in stock right now, and about 160 of the small size. Uh, the state came through and did a survey to see how many we had because you can't get them now. I'm trying to get them. You can't get them. Uh, there, we got a lot of stuff going on right now. Uh, I've been in Nashville quite a bit here lately. We have legislation that's going through right now and uh, we're trying to get it passed to where they will pay uh, Medicare rates for our team care transportation. And if that goes That's through- That's what you and Ben have been wanting to Yeah, and if that goes through, it passed on through the next, this last committee, we went to the finance committee yesterday and it got passed, it got put to the end of the budget, which they didn't kill it, but it, that's just where it has to go because it doesn't have the physical notes anymore on the May not How much of an increase to it that they for us, we would see anywhere from uh, two hundred fifty to three hundred thousand dollars in revenue. So with them pushing it back, they may not make it through this year. Well, from what we've heard and the ones we've talked to, and believe me, we've talked to a lot of people, they're looking for uh, the revenue. What we're looking at is about uh, fifteen, sixteen million. From the state, and with that, we get about sixty thousand or sixty million dollars in federal revenue to go with that. So uh, it, it, it would be a big thing because uh, we've not got an increase in Tennessee or team care rates for transportation uh, for quite some time. Actually, they took a few percent away from us back years ago, and it's just never been recouped. They never gave it back to you. No, no. Uh, but right now, our revenue's up. We're doing. 
Did you collect sheets? Yeah. There you go. She's smiling, so you know I'm not so too bad. <laughs> you want these back, honey? Yeah, I've got to find them. Uh, if you bring it to Jersey, yes. Yeah. God, I know, but I'm down here. You turn out. Jim's done a great job for me. Yeah, we're yeah. thankful to have you, Jim. He's done a pretty good job. Good job, man. Uh, two the other day, we set three ambulances to the front of them. Just so you know. And then we well, got, good. We also sent some personnel to help with some other things that are going on. I heard where they called and requested something to come down to the Hitchin' Dover the other night. Yeah. Okay. All right. Which was good. Right. We'll uh, call it a night. So. Well, I tell Philip you can come in now.